Welcome to this new video, today we continue with the code from the previous video. We are going to expand the Spring Authorization Server and Spring OAuth 2 client with a logout function. All questions, comments and new ideas are always welcome in the comments below this video. All code is also always available on the GitHub website. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any new content. Thank you for following our channel and supporting us. We start with a browser window to view the result. Open 127.0.0.1 port 8080 and we see the home page of our project. As you may remember from the previous videos, we store all data from the authorization server in a database. In the second window we have opened the session tables. For now this table is empty. We can now log in with user and password and now have access to all pages. If we now refresh the session table, we will see one record with all information about the current session. Now we go back to our project and log out. We go back to the home page with the message that we have been logged out. If we now look back at our database, we see that the table is empty again, the session has been deleted. So we are logged out. I also want to briefly show the OAuth2 registered client table. The post logout redirect URLs column is important for this video. We will soon need this data in the Spring OAuth2 client code. We now go to Eclipse to view the modified code. In the security config class we have a few adjustments. In the request matchers we always make logged out accessible. We configure the logout URL in logout. And the logout success handler OIT logout success handler and client registration repository. Pay particular attention to the set post logout redirect URI logged out. This must be the same as in the OAuth2 registered client table of the database. Then we go to the home controller. Here we have an additional endpoint logout that we forward to the index page with a message. You logged out. And finally the index page with the timeleaf logout text message. This was a short yet important video. In the next video we will clean up the OAuth2 authorization table in the database, after a while all login attempts hang and we have to clean up old access tokens. Thank you for following and supporting our channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any new content. Thank you.